I'm Douglas from the Planning and Development Office at Huron County, and today we're here to talk about one of our neighbors, right? A gentleman by the name of Dwayne. He works here at Timber Outfitters. He's an entrepreneur. He started this himself. He's very passionate about business, and that's what we're here to talk about. So come on in. Dwayne. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Good. How are you How are doing? Good. 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 I recently just found out that not only are you a retailer, but you're also a service provider and you're also a manufacturer. Yep. You are. That's correct. Yeah. So let's talk about those three things. Sure. You've got the retail store here. Yep. Which is everything that you could possibly des desire. Canoes, kayaks, all the camp and stuff, everything you need. Everything you need. To, so for instance, if I were to, if I had a weekend trip with my family, yep. I could just come here. We can get everything set up that you're all set. Oh, well then there you go. Yep. Now as a service provider, yeah. We take groups of people out, uh, kind of give them the lowdown on how to paddle, go with them, make sure everything goes smooth, show them a bit of here in County. Okay, so just for the person who doesn't know what the inside of a canoe looks like, yeah. what do you build? And I, th I believe this is something yeah. that you built, right? This, well, yeah, this is a yoke. Uh, this is a deep dish model, so it's a little more comfortable to carry. The thwart just gives you uh, support on the side walls, and then your seats are obviously to sit on. So. Right, okay, and, and why is it shaped like this? Is it just so you can put it on your back? It fits into your shoulders and cups over your shoulders. For the most part, I send the interiors to them, and there's uh, one company, they send them to me, and I do a few custom ones for them, so, yeah. Okay, all right, so you're really an interior designer. Somewhat, yeah. <laughs> for the great outdoors. For the great outdoors. Right, okay, and yeah. you're, you of course have lived in here in County your whole All life. my life, yep. All life. life yep. And your family's here? Family's here, uh, mom and dad, I grew up here, uh, my wife's just from outside of town, so we've just stayed in the county, and uh, yeah, it's great. And you have two children? Two children. Yeah, they all paddle and we all go camping, it's just lots of fun. Well then there we go, I guess you're doing what you're passionate about. Exactly, exactly. That's what we're talking about. So I guess you're going to show me your passion a little. Up. We're going to take you out and show you what my joy in life is, yep. Alright, well let's get to Brussels. It's all flat water, so it's very user friendly. Uh, you know, we put them in a nice stable boat to start with. That way, their first experience is a good one. Uh, you don't just jump onto the lake with a big wave right off the bat. You gotta start by walking before you're running. So we'll start out. We'll get everyone's life jackets on before we start. So to properly get in, one way is to crouch beside the. Crouch beside the boat, hand in the middle, hand on here. So you got all your weight on three points, your foot in the middle, slide in. Sitting straight up, you want your knees locked in the side, you don't hang on. You just keep everything loose, feet on the foot pegs, so you're locked in and you're all set. Just like that, like that, and you kind of slither your legs in. Perfect. Spread your hands out a little farther. And this is an asymmetrical paddle. So that's okay. So this part here, you just want to be able to read the label. Okay. Keep your hands a little farther apart. Paddle in the middle. There you go. Just give a little wiggle so you get a feel of the boat. Perfect. So you want to hold the paddle so that you're fairly square. Okay. okay. You lean forward, pull out at the hips. And the next one, you lean forward, pull out at the hips. If you continue on all the way through, you get a zigzag pattern going down the river. So if you pull out at the hips, that stops that. And if you want to turn, so if you're going to turn to the right, you do a full sweep on the left, and vice versa. You don't sit back in the boat, you sit up nice and square, so you got full control with your knees locked in. Bring your right knee up, okay, foot in the middle. Now swing your left leg out and your butt all together. Okay. That's better. You'd be That's dry. a lot easier than getting wet. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be dry that way, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's all there is to it. There's a lot of people I talk to on a daily basis have no idea any of these waterways are here. 
sit down with the map and we draw circles around everything. So a lot of the people are looking for that two hour getaway on a Sunday afternoon or after stopper just to get that stress relief. Uh, you know, so they go out and we can show them all the stuff. Uh, for the little more adventurous, like we do have the Maitland River, so you can travel it and, you know, at uh, a little more of a day trip, but it's just people don't realize it's there and it's right in their backyard. I wasn't happy with the job I was in and this is something I've wanted to do for 20 some years and never had the guts to do it and I thought if I don't do it soon it isn't going to happen so I wanted to try it and haven't looked back since. I just I wish I would have done it 20 years ago. It, uh, it's my passion. Where else do you get to get up in the morning and you know maybe take a group out paddling. All the boats in the store are all uh, made here in Ontario, trying to keep the local theme going as much as I can. We have the service uh, as far as building boats, customizing boats, repairing boats, we build paddles, that type of stuff. So that's the service end, along with taking people paddling, you know, uh, guided trips, that type of thing. And then we have the retail store here as well. Broken canoe, lack of canoe, lack of equipment, a little bit of lack of knowledge maybe. We can try and steer people the right way. We can kind of guide you as to where you can go depending on what type of paddling you want to do. We do paddle nights where we show up to one of the dams that are local, you know, either Brussels, Blueville, anywhere like that. Uh, people are welcome to come out and try out the boats or make an appointment and we'll do it after hours and that way they know exactly what they're getting. It's just like a car, you always test drive a car, you should test drive a boat too. People that travel, you go north to go camping, you don't buy your stuff when you get there. That's right. Right? You need it here. Everyone says, why in Seaforth where there's no water? Well, we have all sorts of paddleable water around, it's just educating people that it's there. We have uh, the main Maitland River, which basically starts in Wingham, number 29 here. Comes all the way down through to Auburn, down through Balls Bridge, the Holmesville Bridge, the Ben Miller Bridge, all the way out to the lake. So that was that three-day trip. Uh, we were in Brussels earlier, and it's right here above the dam. There's also a dam in Blueville, which is here, Gorey. There's a dam, Roxeter, there's a dam, and right in Wingham, there's a dam. So we have all sorts of water, you know, right close by. We have the Hullet Marsh just outside of town here with all sorts of water. You get down into Exeter, you got Morrison Dam at the mile and a quarter here, and you come down Grand Bend Way, we have the two drains which are paddleable as well. And in high water, we have the Bayfield River just south of town. So we have all sorts of water right close by. It's all on the map. We can point it out, try and help anyone out we can. You educate people what's out there, and it turns into a very inexpensive sport to get into that the whole family can enjoy. Just get out and try it. Once you get in the boat, you fall in love. So it's all, it's all good. When your office is the river and the trees on the side, it's perfect. <laughs>